We've reached a frightening new stage of anti-trans vitriol in this country, and we are no longer just talking about regular bigotry against a marginalized group of people. We're talking about calls for public executions discussed openly by prominent people with hundreds of thousands of followers. I'm, of course, talking about former UFC and MMA fighter Jake Shields, who asked this question to his 300,000-plus Twitter followers. Quote, Would you support public executions of anyone who helps a child transition? This would include doctors, therapists, teachers, guidance counselors, etc. He adds, Things are being pushed to such an extreme that the cure is likely going to be just as extreme. Yeah, he just said that out in the open. Now, you might be alarmed by someone just casually calling for mass murder on an enormous scale, as you should be. But in truth, that is not the first time that this individual has done this. In fact, back in February, he called for teachers to be arrested and executed if they tell children that they can choose their own genders. So he presumably wants to protect minors from gender ideology by murdering teachers. But when it comes to a teacher's aide having sex with a minor, well, he responded to that by saying that she should get a raise. So I'm sure that his concern Concern for minors is completely genuine and totally not politically motivated. But what's different about this particular call for genocide, this particular genocidal tweet, is that he worded it as a question. He was trying to gauge support for his genocidal position from his Twitter followers. And the response by many of his followers, if not most of his followers, was an enthusiastic, unequivocal yes. You see blue check mark after blue check mark responding with a resounding yes. Others were joking about making the executions pay-per-view. Another person volunteered to be an executioner. Oh, there's one more person volunteering to be an executioner. This person here writes, public execution is kind of wild. I'm not saying I'm against it, but I'm just saying that's some wild shit to throw out there. Then again, so is changing your gender. So I don't know, LOL. So this person is, uh, I guess, on the fence when it comes to mass murder. Interesting. Uh, just below that comment, someone says they absolutely support it. This person chimes in saying, I would settle for us putting an armband on those who introduced it into the culture, something to identify them with. Yeah. So if you've ever wondered how German society allowed the Holocaust to happen and uh, wondered how anyone could possibly sit idly by or even support an atrocity on such an unfathomably large scale, we're seeing it happen now in real time. We're watching history repeat itself before our very eyes. And to be very clear here, we are living through stage seven of a genocide, but the difference is the perpetrators of trans genocide, they're not even using euphemisms to cloak their intentions. They're literally just admitting it. And this is purposeful. They want you to be scared. And this conversation about public executions is taking place amid an unprecedented legal attack against trans people alongside a toxic propaganda campaign that portrays trans people as a danger to everyone else, especially children. And and as Alejandra Caraballo puts it, we're at the calling for executions of trans folks and the people that support them stage. This isn't actually asking a question. This is incitement, especially when all the blue check replies are gleefully replying they want to execute trans people. And she's exactly correct here. Now, the Elm Fork John Brown Gun Club adds, this was always the logical conclusion, which is why we've been yelling about stages of genocide. If what they say is true, they have to kill us. If we are threats to children and destroying the family and reversing the natural order and lizard alien demons, it goes here. So this isn't just something to put lightly. You can't just dismiss Jake Shields as a kook. This is rhetoric that we see become much more common now. And anti-trans rhetoric has gone increasingly violent specifically on Twitter since Elon Musk took it over. And it's because transphobes now feel emboldened that the owner of this platform frequently also makes transphobic posts himself when interacting with far-right propagandists like Tim Pool, for example. In fact, Twitter even changed its policy to allow harassment towards trans users in the form of deadnaming and purposeful misgendering. Now, given that policy change, you might not expect Elon Musk or Twitter administrators to ban people, even if they're openly calling for mass murder, because that's just kind of being permitted on the platform. But they actually did remove Jake's tweet for violating Twitter's rules. Now, let me just put it this way on Twitter. A transphobic tweet has to be pretty fucking bad in order for them to remove it. But apparently there is a line. And thankfully, that line is support for public executions. 
How reasonable. But what's interesting is that Jake's other tweet from February, where he called for execution of teachers, hasn't been removed yet. But does that tweet not also violate Twitter's rules? I mean, if so, we have to assume that Twitter allows calls for executions, but if you call for said executions to be public, well, that particularly crosses the line. Now, that explanation wouldn't really make sense because the difference between an execution and public execution and supporting that is pretty thin. So it seems weird that that particular tweet was removed. And I suspect that it was removed not necessarily because Jay crossed the line, but because so many blue check transphobes in his replies were salivating over the prospect of a trans genocide. And that's where I think the main issue lies, because savvy transphobes will want to hold those cards close to their chest. And public calls for execution I mean, needless to say, it makes bigots look bad. It also makes Elon Musk look bad by showcasing how a bunch of motherfuckers who pay for Twitter are just Nazis, straight up. And now their posts are being prioritized because as transphobic as Elon Musk may be himself, he's still a businessman at the end of the day. And seeing how so many blue checks are just straight up Nazis, that's really not going to attract many advertisers, especially the good advertisers who's gonna pay top dollars for ad space on Twitter. But it's not just the post itself that was removed because as I film this, we're all witnessing an active campaign to censor any screenshots of blue checks supporting genocide. As journalist Matt Bender points out, Twitter is removing any screenshots showcasing the uh, blue check marks supporting genocide against trans people. Other users like Jay Aubrey are also reporting that their screenshots are now gone. But unfortunately for Elon Musk, Alejandra managed to save the thread in the Wayback Machine, and now it's there for everyone to see, and I'll link to that down below if you want to read it yourself. So Elon Musk can try to censor these screenshots on Twitter, but people are going to keep posting them, and unfortunately for him, he can't do shit about them on YouTube. So feel free to save all of the screenshots that I shared with you today, because I think that they are very important. Show them to anyone who called you hyperbolic if you used terms like transgenocide. Let people know that this is happening. This is getting extremely dangerous. We're entering territory where American conservatives are in the process of transforming into literal neo-Nazis before our very eyes. This is information that everyone needs to see, and we can use this information to our advantage. And if you are a trans or non-binary American, or you have a family member with a trans child, just take these threats seriously. Don't just dismiss them. Protect yourself. Have an action plan to flee the country or your state. Have your passport ready. Understand that these threats are serious and things could get even worse. So just don't take them lightly. Don't dismiss Jake Shields as a kook. Understand that what's happening now is something to take seriously. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just telling you, you need to have an action plan ready to flee if things get even worse in this country. Because in some states, arguably, we're already at that point where you need to leave. So take this seriously because... It is very serious.